Hi, I give you an overview of the Snapset add-on and it's made by MK Breuer that's a very handy add-on when we uh, want to snap and uh, use the pipe points in Blender we have it all in one uh, pie there is also a menu and we can define uh, these buttons in the preferences and you see here under if you type in snap and you see the add-on snapshot and then under tools you can define here um, all these uh, buttons um, what they have to do you can give an, um, you can give the button a name for example button A has the name grid um, you can um, define the snap target uh, how it has to snap and um, where to apply the snap to to move rotation and scale etc and these two button F and M are special buttons uh, button F um, that's for an edit mode I think that replaces the button uh, B um, button M to use with a shortcut I'm not very sure what it is but I think um, MK Breuer will probably come with an update so we will take a look at the um, pie menu that's quite handy if we press shift W we see here a few icons there are a lot of icons but um, to give you a quick overview these are for transformations and so let's move uh, rotate um, and then at scale that's pretty obvious because you see four arrows for move rotate scale so we can remember that easily then the next one next row is for the pivot point the bounding box the cursor this looks like a cursor this uh, let me guess that is the active um, element we see two elements one is active Am I right? Yes, I'm right. Then the next one is the individual origins. We see two um, objects and they have each the origin. And that's the median point. Median point that's by default. So if you think, oh, what's going on with my pivot point? You set it on the default as the median point. Um, just to show you a quick so now I have individual origins if I press R and R again then I rotate around the individual origins but if I um, choose the active then so if I select first this cube then that one this is the selected this is active if I press R and R again, then I rotate around the active object. So that's pretty nice. I put it back on median point. Now the snapping, that's very nice. Um, hold on. So I press now W because I want to have just. Um, select circle, select lasso, select I want to move this away so I show you the, the snap um, options um, we see this uh, one is now white that means it is active um, so snapping is active at the moment um, this is for the vertex, this is for the um, increment of the grid, I believe. No, no, sorry, this is for the edge. This is for the face, the whole volume, and this is the grid. So if I press this one, 
I press G and then Y it snaps to the grid but if I want to snap this cube to the other cube and it has to match the, the ver vertex then I press shift W vertex here and then I grab and then it snaps to the vertex of the other cube but if I want to snap the cube on the other side then it won't work immediately you see the cube is now on top of the other cube so what I have to do is I move the cube first here and now I move the cube over there because the snapping considers the direction so if I move here uh -huh. and then in this case I have to move again here so the direction is important where you move your cube to mm, so those are some uh, snap settings manually Um, then these are the um, orientation that's also very interesting so if I want to move a cube uh, example this I rotate it now I think I want to move the cube on this axis normally by default when you move a cube um, we grab this one that's on the global um, coordination how do they call that? that is the global global axis and if I put it on, on the local axis then I move the cube like that Then there are a few other options, like um, I think if I go in edit mode, I go in edit mode, then select all rotate set. If I want to move this face along the normal, so I want to move the face this way or that way. Mm -hmm then I have to choose normal and then I can do that or do this mm. I'm not sure what this is so the gimbal um, that is uh, according to the view this is to the cursor so if I place my cursor here shift I click um, I do this to the cursor then the cursor has some rotation data and shoot and then I rotate according to the da uh, rotation data and the cursor so I put this back on uh, global now, <coughs> well, um, then there are here some um, buttons, and these are the buttons you can define in, in this uh, menu. So that's, again, you are in a snapshot, so let's say you type here snap, you see the snapshot add-on, and this is in community. And then you can define here your um, snap settings for these buttons. We see here this is the button D, it's called active. Uh, this button E. Um, I changed it myself, I put a V behind it 
because it snaps to um, a vertex. So that's a quick uh, overview. Um, And that's pretty much it, I believe. So you can define here your snap settings. Um, there is a button over here, the snap set, which can change that all in the preferences.